Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Boot Wizard first. This is the very first time, despite numerous attempts by me, that we have featured indoor shoes on this channel. So this is a pair of futsal, indoor, or according to Nike, street shoes that we're going to be reviewing today. It is the Nike React Gato, which is the brand new top level indoor shoe from Nike. And I saw this, I saw the new tech, which is just here, and I was very, very excited. I had to get them for the channel. So today, we are going to go through all of the new tech on these, all of the old tech on these. We're gonna tell you how they perform, what the fit, the feel, the touch is like. Also, you know, if this is the boot for you, is it good value for money? Should you go out and buy it? I'm James, welcome to Boot Wizard Boot Reviews. Remember to like the video, remember to get subscribed to the channel, and let's jump straight in to our full review of this Nike React Gato. So the upper on this is a full one piece fly knit upper that has been completely uncoated. This is an indoor shoe, it doesn't feature the same Nike skin style top coatings that you're going to get on most of their outdoor models. This upper is super, super soft. This has zero, literally zero break in time. It is crazy comfortable and it even has a little bit of texturing because of the way that this fly knit has been made. It's been made with these bumps and ridges that run around the boot in all the contact areas and it leads to a nice bit of extra grip or texture on the ball. It's not revolutionary or incredible but it's definitely nice and you do notice it a little bit that it's there. There's some really nice areas of reinforcement as well. Futsal shoes, street shoes, they tend to go through quite a physical beating as you're playing, more so than you might expect. And it's very different from a regular football boot. So you do get this reinforced area around the laces here in this central lacing system. And you, the extra stretch that you get through that lacing area in that fly knit is also really nice. The heel area has also got a really nice kind of thicker padding or thicker coating on the outside. Again, just a bit of structure, a bit of protection. And then most importantly, you also get this raised lip that runs around the front of the boot with this extra gray section. So this does two things. It obviously prevents sole separation and it also gives you that little bit of extra protection for when you're in those tight futsal like spaces and you might need a cheeky toe poke. Because this upper is so soft and pliable, most of the structure is coming from a very interesting type material that runs through all of the midfoot, which is basically a smooth plastic. That gives you most of the structure for the upper of the boot, which does mean that it isn't the most responsive, especially if you compare it to some of its fly knit counterparts, something like a Vapor, it's not the most responsive. But for a futsal shoe, I think it works out really nicely. This whole heel reinforcement area here does give you some really nice heel stability and lockdown, and that runs into these two little areas here that poke out the top at either side. They remind me a little bit of the new Furon V6 Pro, which has these, and they actually give you a really nice lockdown. So responsiveness, not the greatest, but the lockdown is fantastic. And overall for futsal, the touch on the ball is really premium. It's really nice. I like the texture on the outside, and I really don't have many complaints at all. I think this is a really high quality upper on a fantastic futsal boot. So looks wise, I don't think that these are one that are ever gonna split opinion. I think these are just a good looking pair of football boots. You've got the drop down swoosh off the fly knit. 
onto the sole plate as we see on the mercurials at the moment a little bit of an off-white nod that's kind of a it's even so it's in knit but it's been made to look like it's printed on in like paint i think it's really nice i love a vault accent if you've co followed the channel for a while you know i love a bit of vault i think overall the knit patterning the dark gray light gray with the red and vault accents is really nice you could argue there's maybe one too many colors on here but I think this is a great looking pair of indoors and I have no complaints at all here. And now we get on to traction. So to cover the very basics, this is the outsole of the boot. It has the standard grooves that you're going to find on any indoor shoe and they are big enough to deal with any kind of dust or issues you get while playing indoors and I haven't had any problems with slipping. But that's not very exciting. The most important thing about this is Nike's Touch 360 technology, which is what these areas are here, which when I initially saw these assumed would be for traction. This is absolutely not the case. And to explain it better, we have to get the insole out. So on the insole, we can see you have these areas on the back of the insole here, which have been pressed in to the standard Nike insole. And then on the other side, you have these areas here, which again are pressed in. So there's a much thinner layer of foam and material around all of these areas on the insole. It's a very, very good reason for that. And the reason is, switch to other camera, that as you should be able to see down the inside of the boot here, there are eight specific little bumps that raise up onto the inside of the boot and they connect directly to the areas that have been shallowed out on this insole. And you may think, well, that's a stupid idea because you're gonna feel that through the boot and that's gonna be uncomfortable. Well, that's kind of exactly the plan. What Nike want you to do is they want you to be able to feel the bumps that run here through the bottom of the shoe and into the insole. Because when you apply some pressure to these, they actually press upwards onto these dots and then the dots press upwards into the insole and to the ball of your foot. And again, why? Surely that is just irritating and annoying. But no, if you are a player of the game of futsal, you'll know that you do spend a reasonable amount of time with your foot, the ball of your foot, on the ball. You're trying to move the ball around quickly with sharp skills. And this is designed to give you 360 touch. And that means that you can touch and feel the ball through the base of the shoe. So you apply pressure here, you feel where the ball is better and you have better control over the ball when the sole of your foot is on it. Does this work? Mm, kind of. If you put these on and you know this is here and you really go looking for it and you're trying to feel it in your head, you will feel it. It is there and it does work. But when you're in the heat of the game and you're really running around, does it make much of a difference? I don't really think it does. I love the technology. I love the fact that Nike have come out with this. And I also love the fact that Nike are seriously innovating for a futsal specific line of shoes. There's not many brands that do that. Most brands put out exactly the same shoe that they have for their turf, uh, for their outdoor shoes, for their FG shoes. They just take the sole plate off, whack an indoor on and go, there you go, have that almost always in a takedown model. They're okay, but they're not really specifically designed. Not only is the Nike React Gato specifically designed, it has specific technology. And while the effect may only be very minimal, the fact we have this innovation and the fact that it even works at all, I think is fantastic. The rest of the inside of the boot is some synthetic suede on the back, some mesh on the sides, but that's not very exciting either, is it? Touch 360. Let me know what you think of the Touch 360 down in the comments, especially if you have these. Let me know 
if you feel like this works. So Gatto React, how do these come in weight wise? And these come in at 265 grams, which is not too bad of a weight, especially for a boot of this type, an indoor shoe. I have no complaints here at all. There are much, much heavier boots out on the market for an indoor or a futsal boot, but they're 265 grams for reference, no complaints. So value for money, these retail for 130 euros. Now bear in mind that indoors do retail for less than your uh, FG and AG and SG boots, oh my God. So 130 euros for these, which is the upper end of an indoor price point. You can pick up the Predator uh, 20 plus indoor, that's more expensive at about 150 euros. Uh, the Luna Gato, the two, the other boot in the Gato series, which is basically just a re-release of the old Luna Gato 2. They brought it back. It's a very popular boot. That retails for 90 euros. And then you can also pick up many of the other Nike Pro level boots, the Pro Vision um, with the React outsole also, 120. The Venom Pro without the React outsole, 90 euros. Most of the Adidas X-Line indoor boots, 120 euros. So I've just thrown tons of prices at you there. Hope you stay with me. These are the top end of that price bracket, but they are not overpriced. And I think for 130 euros, I'm gonna say something very controversial. I think these are the best indoor boots on the market right now. That's how much I like these. I think these are the best indoor boots that are available right now, or they're at least my favorite. Let's say that they're definitely 100% my favorite. So on feet for the basics, these fit really nicely. There's plenty of width in here. If you have wide feet, I don't think you're gonna have any issues at all. Indoor boots do tend to be a little bit wider. Lengthwise, I've gone true to size. They fit me just fine. If you want a tighter fit, you can just about get away with going down half a size, but I am very happy true to size with these boots. I think the comfort is excellent. That Touch 360 system isn't intrusive and it doesn't annoy me at all. That mid layer of React foam that sits between the outsole and the midsole Actually, I feel like it does something. I can kind of feel the cushioning through the heel and midfoot area. And I really like this boot overall. I have no issues or concerns about heel slippage. The heel lockdown is good. The overall lockdown is good, especially if you make sure the laces are through those very top two lacing positions and you get those laces tied tight. And my only criticism about these boots is that they're not the most responsive because of that super soft upper, but I certainly would not change the softness of the upper in order to get more responsiveness. I think this is really nicely balanced. So to conclude, without getting too hyperbolic about it, these are without question my favorite indoor boots available on the market right now. No questions asked, no comparisons made. Let me know what you think of the Nike React Gato down in the comments. Remember to hit the like button on this video. This is very important if you want to see more indoor boots on the channel so I know that that's something I should get on. And as always, do remember to get subscribed so you can pick up all my other content. But that's all from Boot Wizard here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one, and I'll see you soon.